Swiping online, we have many resources for you guys to utilize. So we're really glad you're taking advantage of one of them and being here right now. So let's go ahead and dive into the virtual tour. So we're gonna um, begin with where our Pleasant Hill campus is located. Um, as you can see, we are located in California and to, to be specific, we are located in Northern California um, in the Bay Area. And then in the next slide, you'll be able to see uh, a more close up uh, area of where we are located exactly. Um, we are one hour and 10 minutes away from Sacramento and about 35 minutes from uh, San Francisco. So these are kind of like the big regions that are nearby that are popular areas um, nearby, such as the Sun Valley Shopping Center, many parks, downtown Pleasant Hill and downtown Walnut Creek. Um, it's, it's really cool because like you have a lot of stuff to do in your free time um, while you're at like school. Okay. Um, so moving to this, this is a, another like campus map of the DVC Pleasant Hill campus. Um, and you can find this on our website and around campus as well. Now, moving on, um, this is our student services center and it's located next to the hospitality building and in front of the quad area. And in the next slide, you can see the um, geographical picture of where exactly the student service center is located. And as you can see, it is a very central region on campus. Now, what exactly is the student services center? Well, um, it's actually a really big sector of the campus. It houses many of our uh, most utilized student services and resources on campus. And below you can see some of the different resources included in the Student Services, student services Center. Um, and some of uh, which you can, we'll be going into in detail in a bit. Um, but first we wanna give you a glimpse on the inside view. So as you can see, this is the first floor of it. And um, in the very beginning where these people are lined up is the admissions and records. And then if you go even further down, um, you can find the financial aid office and Back, way in the back, you can find the welcome services, which is where us student ambassadors um, are located. And then looking on the right image, that's the second floor, um, which if you keep going down, you'll find the counseling department and many other resources as well. So now we're gonna start going off into detail um, more about the admissions and records. So the admissions and records basically manages all aspects of the enrollment and registration process, including transcripts, residency, certifications to transfer, diplomas, as well as graduation um, forms. So basically, for example, this is where I went to a lot when I was working on my transition from high school to DVC because they were the ones who filled out um, all the paperwork to transfer my classes over. So there you go to for that. And then next we have the assessment center, which is where you get placed into your um, English as a second language course or chemistry based on assessments. Um, we also have a new process for math and English placement where you basically turn in your high school transcript um, or past education experience and we place you into a transferable math and English class based on your courses that you've already completed. So this is actually something that's newer. Um, it actually started my first year, um, so last year at DVC. So rather than getting placed um, or taking tests to get placed into the math and English, you get straight into it based on your classes that you took um, prior. And then next we have the welcome services, which again, this is where us student ambassadors work. And we basically work to provide you guys information about the enrollment process, referrals to campus offices and assistance with general questions about DVC. And guys, although we are online right now, we do want to mention that if we do go onto the DVC website and go under welcome services, there is a live chat feature that allows you to instantly chat with us, which is really cool um, for being virtual and online. And additionally, we do have the enrollment lab, um, which is where all the computers are available for registering for classes, checking grades and accessing the DVC website, et cetera. And that's also where we are located as well. Next, we have the financial aid office. And basically they work to assist students in applying for and receiving some of the many forms of financial aid available to help pay for school. These include grants, waivers and loans, and our financial aid staff are here to help you through the entire process. Um, for example, FAFSA, Cal Grants, and the California College Promise Grant are through the financial aid office. 
Additionally, we have the FT3, which also um, was established, I think, last year. And um, basically, it's a really cool program. As long as you're a first time student and you're full time taking 12 units or more, you'll be able to get your entire tuition back. And it's very cool. Not a lot of community colleges do this. So it's a very cool resource to take um, advantage of as well. Next, we have the cashier's office, which is where students can pay fees, clear outstanding debts, and buy tickets for school events, such as plays and sports events as well. And then we have the EOPS, which is also known as the Extended Opportunities Programs and Services, which provides resources for students with social and or economic disadvantages. They have resources such as school supplies, book vouchers, early registration, and specified counselors. And in this area, we also have um, a scholarship office, which is where you can find specific scholarships that are available to you. And something that we're really um, known for is that scholarships program, or the scholarship program we have is you apply to one scholarship, um, or one scholarship application, and then we throw you into 70 different scholarship programs. Um, we do it on our own, so you don't have to even worry about that, which is also really cool. Next, we have the DSS, which is also known as Disability Support Services. DSS is designed to ensure that students with disabilities have equal access to all of our educational offerings. Um, and here are some of the opportunities that we present for DSS students, such as mobility assistance, specialized instructions, American Sign Language interpreters, testing accommodations, specialized tutoring, adaptive equipment, and educational counseling and planning. Also, if you do want to become involved in helping out um, your classmates, you can become a note taker, which basically entails you to take notes in one or a couple of your classes for someone else. Um, and some of the perks are that you are able to um, get early registration um, and may even get a certification for it, all on top of knowing that you are helping somebody out in the process. And then next we have counseling. Uh, counseling is where you get your academic advising about your career and class choices. And we also offer a wellness counseling for those who just may want to go and talk to someone about their lives. And we personally recommend everyone to speak to a counselor at least once a semester. But, um, you know, that shouldn't limit you. You can go as many times as you want. I know I personally, my first semester at DBC, I probably went to the counseling office like six times, maybe even seven, just because I wanted to make sure I was signing up for all the right classes and I was on track for transferring. And then we also have the career employment and transfer services, which are used to help those who are planning on transferring to a four year. Um, they host events like college fairs, informative workshops, and even assistance on writing resumes and your online profile. Um, next, we're going to move on to the book center, math building, engineering technology, and the police services. 